want to get a photo with the selfie, just call um, Abby over. So before we start, and you all look beautiful. Everybody. So can I just have your attention for a few minutes? Hello. So hello, welcome everybody to the Galway Travelling Movement Achievement Awards. Myself, Nora Corcoran, and my lovely colleague here, Nora Mangan, are going to be your hosts for this evening. So we just want to draw your attention to the emergency exit. So there's one here to the right, at the back, one to the left. There's another one here, and then obviously there's another one over here. Now I would say put your phones on silent, but there's no reception here, so don't worry about that. Um, so just, and again, 
Uh, we are going to. I just want to let you know that the event has been live streamed on, on our YouTube, our Facebook, and it will be recorded on our, and uploaded to our YouTube. So if you don't want to appear on camera, then you might just avoid Jonathan up there. So, but anyway, it's lovely to see you all here. And uh, again, I uh, just want to uh, pass you over here to Normangan, and it's lovely to see you. And I just enjoy your night. Good evening, everybody. You're more than welcome, as they say. It's hard to believe it's time again for our, Gal our annual Galway Traveller Achievement Award. It's lovely to see you all face to face. We are a little bit late this year because of bad weather waits for no one. So we hope you all had a lovely Christmas and a happy new year. And we're all ready for 2023. We have an amazing list of nominees who are well recognised in the Traveller community by their outstanding achievements, which will be, we will be celebrating tonight. So we're absolutely delighted to welcome singer, songwriter and spoken word artist Steve Wall as our guest presenter. And Steve will be for me here tonight also. Steve was an amazing traveller ambassador and role model who has defied all the odds to carve out a su successful music career. And Steve was also part of the Michelor Festival of Nomadic Cultures 2022 as a guest and a mentor at the Michelor Youth uh, with Music Generation. So we have an action-packed evening ahead. We won't be stopping for a break as the awards have been live-streamed. There will be a raffle at the end of the night to hold on to your tickets and we know you'll all be starving so we'll feed you in water before we let you go home at the end and we're finishing at 9pm on the dot. So and again, that's where the emergency exits are, just keep an eye on them. So again, if there's any rubbish that you have, will you just bring with you because there's bins just outside. And so before we start with presentations, we will hand over to Steele who's going to start us off with a couple of songs. So put your hands together for Steele Wall. <laughs> We're all very quiet. You can talk amongst yourselves there, lads. Um, I'm going to sing a few songs that no one knows, but I'll give them a bash anyway. Thanks for having me. Of the 
piper bad cash He passed the flame down through the years To Johnny Doran and Felix Those gypsy piper kings You inspire generations And your names will forever sing Because your rich history is written on every stone in every town. Oh, my people, my people, don't let them keep you down. Because your rich history is paved on every road in every town. Thanks very much. Um, I, I was playing up in Dublin last night, and not that it's a competition or anything, but they were great singers, lads, and uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna have to see if there's a few good old singers in the audience tonight. So when I call on you, this, when I do this, it means you have to start singing, right? Um, that, song, that song was inspired by a book I read um, called Free Spirits, and if any of you don't know any of the artists that I mentioned in that book, I suggest you use your fucking Google thing or whatever it is and, and check them out because they're amazing artists. Um, and I recorded a podcast as part of a festival I've done up in Dublin. Um, the podcast is called My People and I'm interviewing, I am interviewed PJ who's here tonight and Sharon Ward and, and a few other people as well, you know, talking about the, the, the history and the impact that Irish travellers have had on Irish traditional and folk music. And uh, so that podcast is going to be coming out soon as well. I'll sing you another old song and what am I doing? I'll sing you one more and then I'll leave you alone. <clears throat> Until the next time. Cindy Joyce, 
Senator Lynn Ruan and Catherine Corliss. These are the voices of Moy Ireland. Have to do another one. See, so he wants to do another thing. He just want to get down now. He's up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What's wrong with the world, ma? What's wrong with the world? What's wrong with the world, ma? What's wrong with the world? The whole world's gone nuts, no one gives a fuck Walking around with their middle fingers up Screaming, look, cause they're stuck in the rope Can't find a way out, no one knows what they're about We break up, make up, put it up on Facebook Wake up, everybody take a look Get a like and a comment and a share Who cares, damage that they're doing's gone beyond repair They're killing the water for our sons and our daughters We're like sheep being led to a slaughter Pout out your lips, you look good, hun Take another selfie, have fun What's wrong with the world, ma? What's wrong with the world? What's wrong with the world, ma? What's wrong with the world? What's wrong with the world, ma? What's wrong with the world? What's wrong with the world, ma? What's wrong with the world? Sheep, sheep. Change they are terrified. I think they'd rather die than lose their way, lose their way. Sheep, sheep, everywhere, everywhere. They do everything they're told. Their souls are already sold. They just don't. Social networks and online gaming Everybody's blaming the naming Everybody's shaming Broadcast the maiming Divide and conquer like that's okay man Everybody tweeting, talking Instead of just walking For the brotherhood of man We have religions and politicians And neither of them listen Two corrupt systems fighting for existence No one ever listens when I shout it out From the rooftops what they're about Cause they separate the masses, dividing classes Tell you what to think on all your asses Fill you with the fear and the shame You're a slave to the wage and the money making spending game White skin, brown skin, yellow skin, black skin Doesn't really matter, we're the same within Wake up, wake up, everybody wake up, wake up, wake up Everybody wake up, wake up, wake up, everybody wake up And listen to your group, listen to it Cause they feed the wars and they starve the poor And the homeless are dying on our doors They feed the wars, starve the poor And the homeless are dying on our doors They feed the wars, starve the poor And the homeless are dying on our doors And that's what's wrong with the world, ma What's wrong with the world? What's wrong with the world, ma What's wrong with the world? What's wrong with the world, ma What's wrong with the world? What's wrong with the world, ma? What's wrong with the world? Thanks to you. Before we get into the award ceremony, we would like to sit back and relax as we show our short film, Reimagining Life on the Road. These camp days were funded through Traveller Wellbeing, through Creativity Grant, and funded by Creative Ireland and the HSE. 
I'm sure for any of you who were out there in the camps last summer, this will bring back great memories. Today and every other day that we had in the campsites has been great for the young and old generation and it's the passing of the skills from one generation to another. As you can see today we have from young to old and the sing song, the traditional tin crafts, the flower making, the pocket making and being able to tell the stories, the older ones to the younger generation of how it was for them when they lived at the side of the road. Looking at people's faces today, they have smiles on their face, faces, and especially the older ones, it brings back a lot of memories. This is part of the Creative Ireland, HSE, Healthy Ireland and Arts Council funding. So it's a pilot scheme this year for traveller wellbeing through creativity. So we thought, um, the traveller culture is so rich and there's so much to it, so much creativity between the paper flowers, you know, making griddle bread on the fire, the tin smithing, that there are all these crafts that are, are being lost. That our idea was to bring people here together in a, 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 as a traditional setting as we could, reimagining life on the road. This whole project has been amazing. It's been amazing for me as a worker and a peer researcher but also as a member of the, this community. It's such a relaxing atmosphere and environment and just having people coming together, talking about their memories and, you know, even talking our cant language. Everything coming back to me is why we need more projects like this, why we need to kind of reconnect with our roots. And the best way to do it is coming back to about where our families would have been, like in camps at the side of the road. And, and I think unless you, that lived experience, it's so important, and um, we're bringing other people in and seeing our lived experience and seeing the way we change when we're in this environment is so, so fundamental to why these camps are important. Uh, me, it's like taking me back when I was a child. And I think a lot of the old women here, it's the same thing. It brings you back to your childhood. Even when I'm baking bread in the oven, my mother's memories of my mother a hundred memories of my mother and I see her baking in the oven at the fire. Um, I love it. I love it. I'm at home. When there's days like this and I'm among a wagon and horses and the carts, I'm at home. This is my home. This is me. This is me in my own environment. Because I was reared in a tent. I was reared in a tent like that. I'd love for the kids to experience the freedom of this culture. This is the nearest thing that I have seen to a campsite since we left the road, and that's a long, long time ago. I go to these meetings, I love going here. You know, travels get back into, you know, like they don't understand how hard it was years ago. Like we lived down, uh, used to live in laneways like this all the time. I stopped making these years ago. Like there's in the wagons and had four wheelers and small carts. Mum used to sell the flowers, she'd sell little uh, little ornaments. She'd tell fortunes, you know, walking together. And if they couldn't get money, they'd sell the flowers, swap the flowers, the clothes, food, and they'd all. 
you know, to keep alive, keep going. And these two are good. We're never rich, but they're done good. Travel should, more travel should get into it, like it'll bring back memories. But just me, anyhow, I love it. The go of a travel movement got me to make these. Being here today brings it all back. I can't describe how I felt in the last five days. I don't want it to die out. I tell my children, my grandchildren, all about it. But I don't want the travel culture to go because it's in my children even. It's in my grandchildren. My experience would be, it was lovely to see the tents and the wagons to see what way my grandparents lived from years ago because they've passed away now, so they're not here to tell us what way it was. So to see everything was just a lovely experience. enjoy the film because I can tell you really enjoyed making it. It was an absolutely fabulous time last summer in Ballinasloe when we reenacted re the camps. So hopefully, who knows, it might happen again and everyone is more than welcome. So now we're on to the first Special Achievement Award. And this time, the, award, the first award is Special Achievement Award in recognition in the Power Participation Diploma graduates. The 24 graduates successfully completed a Level 7 Diploma in Community Development through this groundbreaking program, which was developed in collaboration with the Goba Travel Movement and the Community Action Network. The culmination of this program was the attendance of over 100 travellers at the graduation ceremony at the University of Ireland in 2019. And since then, the programme has been rolled out by a group of travellers in the Midlands. And the Galway Travel Movement is proud to have a graduate from the original pro programme as one of the facilitators from the Midland Group. And give your hands, put your hands together for Nora Mongan. Fair play to her. She's an absolute inspiration herself. And so, and this, um, so this demonstrates the progression route that is possible through the power of education. So I'm going to call up the, the nominees one by one. So can I have... Um, Martin Moore, please. Okay. So I'll call you up one by one. Now, do you hear your name when you come up? But when you do come up, can you just stay up here for a group photograph as well, please? So, um, Nora Mongan. Let's get for Nora. So, Steve is going to hand out these awards to all our um, nominees. And Nora Ward, please come to the stage. And Leanne Award. Nora. Come on, don't be shy. Come on, yes, you. <laughs> now, Kathleen Sweeney can't be here this evening, but we'll, um, we'll organise to get her award to her as well. And I think Caroline, is Caroline McDonough here? So she's now, we'll get her award. So anyone that's not here, we'll get the awards to them. Um, Kate Mongan. <laughs> not here. Okay, maybe Mary, you might collect her awards. Hmm? Or award. It's a different, different or award. Apologies for that. <laughs> Pat Mongan. Yes, Pat Mongan. <laughs> Annie McDonough. So, if Andy's not here, she will organise for someone to get her award anyway. So. Keith McDonough. Um, Annie is here. Yeah. So, so Keith can. Oh, Annie is here. Apologies, Annie. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, Annie. <laughs> Thank you. And Coley Sweeney. Again, if everyone just stays up here so we can get a good photograph. And Paddy Sweeney. You can take Paddy's one, yeah. Charlene McDonough. No, Charlene's not here. Oh, shit. Is Charlene McDonough here? No? So anyway, we'll go organize to get it to Charlene. Anne Ward. Anne Ward here? Yeah. Congratulations, Anne. Angela McDonough. Bridget Kelly. <laughs> Joanna Corcoran. I know more than my mother, so she's oh. taking us. So Mary's going to collect no awards one, so I'll do. Yeah. I apologize, I told you. All right, all right. So if there's no award, Mary's going to collect her award and Anne Ward as well. Um, Mark and McDonough. Okay. No. Helen Brown. Congratulations, Helen. Jason McDonough. Yeah, I just called that one anyway. So and Daniel McDonough's over here. Yeah. Kate Ward. Congratulations, Kate. And last but certainly not least, Rosanna Ward. Okay, sorry. Sorry, Amory McDonough. Sorry, apologies, I got the name wrong. My face on that. Yes. And Daniel. And Daniel. Oh yeah, do you want to click? And Joanna. Mary Mongan. And apologies if I left anyone out. And apologies, Anne-Marie. And there he was. So will you give a round of applause to all our nominees and they're going to stay for a few photographs with Steele. Yeah, Daniel McDonough. Apologies. Nor you're sacked.
much, everybody. You're absolutely amazing. And the next award is education. The award this evening. The award this evening is for education. As you can see from the last nominees, education is such an important life tool. And GTM is dedicated to promoting and supporting the community to reach their full potential in education. First up are the nominees who will all be receiving a small award in recognition of your nomination. When your name is called out and you come up to receive your awards, if you could stay on stage until the overall winner is called and we would like to take a group photo of you all. Thank you so much. So if you would like to come up on stage once we call out your name. Maria Ward. Is there anyone here that could take her? Oh, yeah, yeah. perfect. She's coming. Take your time. <laughs> Martin Mungan, um, who Jared Ward, his uncle Jared Ward, will collect his award. Bernard McDonough. And Marie Ward. Jason Sherlock. <laughs> and the winner in the education category is Rebecca Rebecca Sherlock. Yep. Yeah. Rebecca is committed to realising travellers' rights and successfully challenges racism as a student in University of Galway. She is also involved in Minker Witten and holds down the role of treasurer for this office. Rebecca has completed the access course in University of Galway and is in her first year of a degree in children, family and youth studies. As a single mother, Rebecca has overcome barriers and obstacles and it is an amazing role model and ambassador to our other young travellers. Welcome, Rebecca. Yeah. Well done. Uh.
your hands together one more time for our sports winners and nominees. Uh, for our education winners and nominees. Sorry, so our next category is sports. And it's great to see so many nominees for this category. And once again, we'll call you up one by one, and if you could remain on stage, we'll get a group photograph. So, first up, Michael Ward. Next up, Edward Donahue. about Jack's achievements, but we've only a small amount of time. Will you welcome Jack to the stage, please? Present Can't Beat Hip Hop Track, written and performed by young travellers from La Rey during summer workshops with Atlas Collective, using words in the Kant language to express themselves. These brilliant young artists step up to the mic to rap and sing about what matters to them. Enjoy it. Have you been practicing? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Legend. 
Let's go for it. On me, the sun is shining on me. I'm great, I'm great. I'm gonna be rich, rich when I grow up. When I grow up, yeah, yeah. Old me joke that means ten pen cents. Every cent counts ten pen cents. Old me joke that means ten pen cents. Every cent counts ten pen cents. Yeah, I can do everything I put my mind to. I can do everything I put my mind to. It's okay to make mistakes. I'm gonna ride true. I'm gonna ride true. I'm gonna ride true it all. I'm not too black from the gray, no cap, no cap. I got a sick car. His name is Mikey. Corbin, we all love boxing. I tap, I feel alive. Young boss, speaking live. Yeah, I feel it in my crease. I got snipe, snipe with a one eight. But I finished it. Yeah, I feel it in my crease. I feel it in my crease. Lover, 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 lover. Every day I'm doing lover. All eyes on me. The sun is shining on me. I'm great. I'm great. I'm gonna be rich, rich. When I grow up, when I grow up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old me joke that means ten pen cents. Yeah. Every cent counts ten pen cents. Joke that means ten pen cents. Every cent counts ten pen cents. I can do everything I put my mind to. I can do everything I put my mind to. It's okay to make mistakes. I'm gonna ride true. I'm gonna ride true. I'm gonna ride true it all. Lurk of the chair, I of the fire. Follow your desire. This is what I. The next award is the Young Persons Award. And again, we would be delighted if you could stay on the stage after you receive your award for a group photograph. First up is Michael Delaney. Yeah. Connie Delaney. Angelina Delaney. Marcus Delaney. Marcus Delaney. <laughs> John 
John Paul Delaney. Stephen Delaney. Rico Delaney. Billy Delaney. Bradley Delaney. Tom Delaney. And Martin Ward. And the most important guy of the show, Connie Delaney. <laughs> and I would just fill you in on the reason these are a great group of photographers. Would you believe it? Angelina, the little girl of the group, she'll be back in a second. They held a photography camp day with Tamara Eckelhurt, who's a famous um, photographer for uh, from Germany and she had a three-day workshop shop with the group here and their work is actually displayed out in the foyer um, so you, if you want to have a look at it that it took some wonderful and they used the cameras themselves so it was wonderful and I think some of them will go on to be great photographers but well done to everyone <laughs> will we wait for Angelina one second. Uh, just one more person, and I, I, I'll continue. And the winner in the young person's category is Michaela Myers. <laughs> Michaela is 14 years old and is a talented artist who has the ability to draw anything she puts her mind to, especially portraits. Her work is inspiring and mostly self-taught. We wish Michaela every success and look forward to seeing her future exhibitions. Uh, welcome, Michaela, and well done. Angelina! Angelina. Yeah.
and youth category done. Well done again everybody. So you're all amazing role models and you're very, very inspiring and we look forward to your future successes. So now we're going to invite Steve Wall back to sing another couple of songs for us. So welcome Steve back on stage everybody. Just to say, if there's any uh, singers or guitar players, yeah, that wants to come up, you're more than welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Rest your weary bone on my sofa, me old cigar. We can sip tea from a scalding moon and regale the tales of our yesteryear. Glorious ways we misspent. Smoking down back alleys, boxy on your apple. You're my wears army boots, and she never goes to chapel. When they were crooked, my moves, he walked that crooked mile, making money out of misery. He wore a crooked smile in those glory. Days of our squandering youth We were running down back lanes We were searching for truth In those glory days Glory days, glory days, yeah The masses, life is short But the journey is long you better take it off that skin soon if you want to get along. And you better learn how to walk, for you learn how to roll. Better learn how to be a man soon. You better learn how to love. We were young, we'd all cycle our bikes out into the sun. And then we'd all play kiss chasing Till we caught the royal one In those glorious days of our squandering youth We were running down back lanes We were searching for 
treat in those glory days, glory days, glory days, yeah, glory days. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna invite uh, a young man that I met at Mishlar Festival uh, l last year, and uh, he sang a song and blew me away. And uh, he's just, he's a, he's a great old singer. So will you give PJ a round of applause? He's gonna take over. Yeah. Make it bigger. Fucking killing me now. The man's and all. <laughs> Remember now, that's, that's tuned down one, so we have it on three. So we have it on three. Yeah, go for it. PJ! that can't workshop. We can't let that go now without, you know, draw attention to Mikey. Do you want to come down? Come on, Mikey. Woo! See you.
Well done, Sonny. And Lawrence and Patrick. Do you want to come on down? Congratulations, and that was a brilliant camp workshop. Please see more of that, guys. Well done. The next award is Enterprise and Employment. Congratulations once again to an inspiring group of people and more amazing role models. Now we're on to our award for Enterprise and Employment. Again, if all winners can stay on stage for a photo, a group photo, it would be great. The recipient is John Pio Brown. Mother is picking that up for him. Thanks, Helen. Thank you. This year, the winner for this category has been awarded to Kathleen Ward. <laughs> Kathleen has been described as a great photographer, and we agree, due to her amazing work with GTM at our events the last year. Kathleen is also a charitable worker and community activist and an inspiration to ro and a role model to the community. Welcome, Kathleen. Well done. Our next award is for music, arts and culture. Um, in the area of music, arts and culture. If you all could stay on stage until, again until we get a photograph. And this year our nominee is Michael Ward. Apologies, I'm after jumping forward there. I'm trying to get to off stage. <laughs> Our next award is for achievements in the area of music, arts and culture. If you all could stay on stage for a photograph, it would be great. And this year, our nominee is Michael Ward. <laughs> Emma Ward. Uh, Emma can't be here today, but somebody might pick it up for her. The winner for this category is Jared Ward. Jared has been writing prose and poetry as a hobby for years. His work is displayed around countless homes in Ballinasloe and some of his work has traveled to different parts of the globe. Jared matches his work to his own photography and has done a lot of fantastic work matching his writing to old pictures of Ballinasloe. Congratulations, Jared. Well done.
Award. And again, if each winner could stay on stage for a, food, a good photograph, it would be great. So this year, our nominees are Lawrence Ward, so we, we can organise to get Lawrence's award to him, and the Ballon Slow Traveller Women's Group. So that's Bernard Award. She's a great singer and Nora learned how to read and write and from this worked in tune for many years as a primary healthcare worker. She's a proud traveller woman who loves to cook and regale her family with traveller myths and legends. Congratulations, Nora. least as I say. And the overall achievement award is for a young traveller who is an up and coming filmmaker and musician here in Galway, PJ Mungan. <laughs> PJ successfully created film, produced and released a short documentary surrounding traveller women and their various stories. about arts, storytelling and childhood memories. This short film was premiered at the Nishler Festival of Nomadic Cultures 2022 and was also shown at the Glory Young Creators Programme in Innes. PJ's talents also stretched to singing, as you've seen earlier on, playing guitar, accordion, tim whistle and banjo. Another amazing inspiration. Congratulations PJ, well done. inspiration to your two gentlemen and with a fantastic future ahead of you. So just we're nearly coming to the end of the night now. Thank you very much for your patience and I hope you enjoyed it. So just before we finish up, 
We're going to call Steve back to the stage. Give you a hand, round of applause for Steve. Start getting your tickets ready for the raffle. <laughs> no one wants to hear the old shitty songs, lads. Just get your tickets ready for the raffle. Yeah? Okay. I'm gonna do a whoop or song then, and that's it. Yeah. Right. Have you all got your tickets? Has everyone got their tickets? Right. Well, the raffle's being called off tonight, lads. We'll come back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was a bad L joke. Uh, I'll do one more song for you. Is that all right? Yeah. But I need your help at the end of it. Right? This is a song, this is a song about my grandmother. And it's called Sarah Doran. <clears throat> In the days of old, when stories were told and those gypsy pipers played by the fire's light, in the dead of the night danced the young girl in a maze. Well, her heart was true and her eyes were wise, her spirit was wild and free. Here's to those days of the traveler's ways and here's what she means to me. Her name was Sarah Doran and the traveler girl was she. She was born and raised the old side wax for town in a time that ceased to be and at fourteen years she married big john wall they had fourteen kids they loved them all and though time Life on the road, north and west, east and south. They were simple days, living in simple ways. Tinkering pots and pans and living off the land.
I still picture her face in a time and a place as I wake from a wonderful dream. And the smell of the old baked bread fills up my head And I long for those magical scenes Of when I was a boy The apple of his granny's eye And she the centre of my end. All the stories you told me never did bore me I wish I could remember them now Oh, Sarah Doran Try Dio refuses to pick a lot of tickets, so... <laughs> um, listen, we're going to do the raffle now, right? But if the winners can hold on um, after the raffle to get one huge photograph here, if that's okay, a group photograph, and the rest of the audience can go out for some hot food, it'll be waiting outside for you. Thanks a million. So, Dio. Bit of hush. Now you be quiet. Yeah. Long one. Four two six to four two. Four two six down to four two. It's a kid's hamper. Anybody? Yeah. Well done. Next one. Shh. One six six to one seventy. Yeah. 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 And the blue tickets. Blue tickets. Sorry. Yeah. Nearly there. Well done. Next one. one yeah, yellow, one five one to one five five. Yeah. Is the nerves going yet? <laughs> Well done. Next up. Dig deep, Steel. Joke. Dig deep. 
That's your next song. No, fucking man. One, six, six. Oh! Flew, flew. Oh, the fucking chances. Well done. Thank you. Well done. He's done it. Next. Blue tickets. Blue tickets. Here. We have a winner up here, Sio. Okay. Well done. Next, Russell. Okay, we have two smaller prizes next and one Yellow, main. two, three, one to two, three, four. Two, three, one. Yellow. Two, two, two thirty-one to two thirty-five. Yellow. Will we go again? Two twenty-one to two twenty-one. Yeah. Two twenty-one. Two twenty-one. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Stay for a photograph, Connie. Connie, stay for a photo. Uh, Connie, yeah. No, did you get your photo? Did you get your photo? I'm taking. Abby, did you get it? Oh yeah, that's fine, Connie. That's it. This, Connie. <laughs> Blue three six one. The three six five. Blue. Blue tickets. Make sure you give that straight away to your mother. Well done. Our father. Now the main raffle is... No. Read it. Why? Again. Well done, Sia. Thanks. Congratulations, Helen, for winning the big prize. So, we just want to, before everyone goes, we'd just like to thank you all. Thank you, God. We're traveling moving for hosting the award. Stay all well for singing. Give a big round of applause for you go, everybody. And a big thank you to all the winners and your audience. We wish you all the best. We hope to see you all this year, 2023, as we work together to challenge racism and discrimination. Thank you very much. And if all the what they will, if all the winners stay here, yes. Yeah. Would it just let me finish, please? If all the winners, please say, just go upstairs. Do all the winners go upstairs for the photograph, please?